Tai Chi. It's me at school doing a quick Tai Chi I thought I would show you something. Um, in this little um, Pyrex here, I have oh, I have a calcium hydroxide um, solution with a little bit of blue indicator liquid. The indicator I'm using is called uh, Bromocrethal Green. And it has a pKa of 4.8, which means that at 4.8 is when it changes colors. And I'm adding to it some hydrochloric acid and a burette, which has a pH of about 1. So I don't know if people realize that um, calcium hydroxide is a base. So when you add acid to a base, it's going to basically react and come to a point where the moles of acid and the moles of base are equal. However, that doesn't mean that it's going to stop at a pH of 7. So I'm going to start adding some hydrochloric acid to it and we will know that it's stopped um, by, it'll turn yellow. There will be like a little like for one milliliter and a half or so, it'll have a point where it's turning pink or turning uh, green. But um, that'll eventually it'll like, stop and it'll even out and actually turn all the way yellow. So right now I'm just adding my HCL, which is um, I'll go a little bit slower because if you go too fast, sometimes it'll like you'll miss it, and then you'll be like, oh no, I missed it. Okay, I can go faster than that. <laughs> I guess I'm a little impatient. Anyway, so going to keep mixing it, keep mixing it, keep mixing it, keep mixing it. Anyways, it should take hmm, 27, 28 ish milliliters. Uh, my uh, hydrochloric acid is 0.04 molar more, and. Oh, Definitely gonna start slowing down here because I am getting a little bit uh, close. So the first thing you happen is it looks like it's already turned yellow, but if you let it sit for a little while, it'll actually kind of like be green and it starts to go a little bit blue again. So you gotta actually do it to where it's legitly uh, done, and that's what I was talking about. It'll have that like period where until it turns blue again. It'll have that period where it's kind of going back and forth and back and forth and this might not be it. You're going to have to wait a few seconds, see if it's going to actually stay. Mm, doesn't really look like it wants to stay. It's already starting. You can see a little bit of blue in the middle there. Mr. See? No. He's turning green on me again. I'm going to give him another uh, yeah, give him a few more drops. A few more drops. There. Okay, are you done? Are you done fooling around with me? No, I don't think you are. So at equilibrium, it's never like completely still. It's always going to be going like back and forth at each other. So that's why it's doing that, by the way. But um, I think we are very, very close to where we need to go. Please be done. Please, 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 please. please, please. Baby, are you done? Okay, I think we are done. And even though we've reached uh, equivalency, you want to know a little secret you do? pH is not 7. The pH over here is closer to like 4.7, 4.5. And the reason is because I have a strong acid and a weak base. So, the acid just wants to give a lot more hydrogen than that base wants to give um, 
the black side. So, anyways, and I'll do another video like, like explaining the difference between weak and strong because that makes a really big difference. Um, anyways, love, 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 love. Bye. Come on, it's me. <laughs>